Witness, I want to ask you one or two questions about the Athenia matter. You have told the tribunal that you yourself saw the American chargé d'affaires and informed him about the middle of September that the Athenia could not have been sunk by a German U-boat. That is so, is it not? Ich habe nicht Mitte September den amerikanischen Geschäftsträger gesehen, sondern an demselben Tage, an dem ich von der Versenkung erfuhr. Das muss also etwa der 3., 4. oder 5. September gewesen sein. Were you already assuring the American representatives as early as that, that a U-boat could not have been responsible? Richtig. Uh, and did you recommend, or rather did the German Foreign Office recommend that uh, the Commander-in-Chief of the German Navy should receive the American Naval Attaché and tell him the same thing, namely that a U-boat could not have sunk the Athenia? Das weiß ich nicht. Ich hatte nur mit dem Geschäftsträger zu tun. I'd like you to look at a new document, D804, which will be exhibit GB477, which is an extract from the SKL file on the Athenia case. You will see that that is a report from uh, Neubauer, to the naval attaché, and it reads as follows, the Foreign Office has had a report of the meeting between the Commander-in-Chief of the German Navy and the American naval attaché on the 13th of September, passed on to it by telephone. On the 16th of September, at about 1300 hours, the Commander-in-Chief of... I have the document not yet, richtig. You, you'd like to follow the English copy witness, you'd, you'd like to. I'll read the second paragraph. On the 16th of September, at about 1300 hours, the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy received the American Naval Attaché on the advice of the Reich Foreign Minister and told him more or less the following. He had intended for some days already, as he knew, to write to him, to write him to visit him, in order to tell him his opinion about the sinking of the Athenia, in view of the continued baiting about it. However, he had waited for the return of those of the submarines that had been employed in waging war against merchant ships at the time in question, which might possibly be concerned, in order to receive reports about their activity personally. He repeated most emphatically that the sinking of the Athenia was not caused by a German submarine. The ship nearest to the place of the incident was at the time actually situated about 170 sea miles away from the place of the sinking. Besides this, the instructions according to which the commanders had to wage war against merchant shipping had after all been published. Up to date, in no case had these instructions been even slightly disregarded. On the contrary, an American captain reported a short time before about the particularly courteous and chivalrous behavior of the submarine commanders. Well now, <clears throat> it's clear from that, is it not, that uh, the German Foreign Office was most anxious to cover up this matter of the Athenia as best it could, was it not? Nein, 
Da war nichts zu verdecken. When you discovered at the end of September that in fact it was the U-30 that had sunk the Athena, there was then a good deal to be covered, was there not? Ich glaube, gestern schon gesagt zu haben, dass mir davon nichts zur Kenntnis gekommen ist. But are you saying that you didn't know at the end of September, on the return of the U-30, that the U-30 had in fact ist sunk the Athena? Es ist mir in keiner Weise erinnerlich. When, when did you first discover that the U-30 had sunk the Athena? When did you first discover that the U-30 had sunk the Athena? Nach meiner Erinnerung während des Krieges überhaupt nicht. But I understood you to say yesterday that you thought that the publication in the Völkische Beobachter accusing Mr. Winston Churchill of sinking the Athena was a piece of perverse imagination. Is that right? Are you really saying to the tribunal that there you were in a responsible job at the Verzeihung? final... Are you saying to the tribunal that you did not discover the true facts about the Athena until the end of the war, when you were directly concerned in the foreign office with this matter? Yeah, ich habe gestern schon gesagt, was ich darüber weiß. Nicht wahr? Es scheint so zu sein, dass bei der Marine die Versenkung der Athena später erkannt worden ist, als zurückzuführen auf ein deutsches U-Boot. Ich kann mich durchaus nicht erinnern, dass diese Tatsache mir oder dem Auswärtigen Amt zur Kenntnis gebracht worden wäre. At any rate, the defendant Raider took no steps to correct the information that had been passed to the American diplomatic representatives, did he? Mir ist durchaus nicht erinnerlich, dass der Admiral Reder mich oder das Auswärtige Amt von dem Tatbestand unterrichtet hätte. Yeah. Now, with regard to the defendant von Neurath, if it please the tribunal, I'm not proposing to question the witnesses to the earlier diplomatic history, as the tribunal has indicated that it's desirable to reserve such matters for the defendants as they uh, go into the witness box later. But I want to ask you, uh, a general question. What was the earliest date at which responsible officials of the Foreign Office, like yourself, first realized that Hitler intended to wage aggressive war? dass der außenpolitische Kurs der Regierung Hitlers ein gefährlicher sei, habe ich zum ersten Mal im Mai 33 sehr deutlich empfunden. Dass ein Angriffskrieg geplant sei, vielleicht im Sommer 38. Mindestens dass der eingeschlagene Weg der Außenpolitik sehr leicht in einen Krieg hineinführen könne. Uh, already in, in April 1938, uh, the foreign political situation was so tense that you sent a special memorandum to all German diplomatic representatives dealing with the situation and the situation of crisis. Das kann sein, wenn ich das Dokument sehen dürfte. I want you to look at document 3572 PS. Which is a mem memorandum of the 25th of April 1938 
Signed by yourself. And a copy of which you sent to all the German diplomatic representatives. The exhibit GB478. <clears throat> that document reads, since the work in the field of preparation for the mobilization has made further progress within Germany in the armed forces and in all civil administrations, including the foreign office, it is necessary now that in case of government offices abroad, corresponding measures also be taken in their area of jurisdiction without delay. And then there follows uh, a series of instructions as to the actions that are to be taken on the commencement of a period of crisis or of actual mobilization. Uh, and there's an insistence in the last paragraph but one I request the heads of offices, without waiting for further instructions, to, to start considering now the measures to be taken into consideration in their sphere of activity in the case of a serious situation. In the interests of absolute secrecy, it must be observed strictly that the number of people informed remains as restricted as possible. That suggests, does it not, that as early as April 1938, you were conscious of the imminent approach of actual mobilization. Is that so? Darf ich fragen, ist das Dokument wirklich vom Jahr 38 oder ist es vom Jahr 39? Ich kann das nicht recht sehen hier. It's, it's dated the, the 25th of April 1938. Oh, naja, mag sein. Now, you yourself were opposed to Hitler's aggressive foreign policy, were you not? Ich habe die Frage vielleicht nicht ganz verstanden. You yourself were opposed to Hitler's aggressive foreign policy, were you not? Ich persönlich? Yes. Durchaus. Yes. Did you endeavor to persuade the defendant von Neurath also to oppose Hitler's aggressive foreign policy? Herr von Neurath war damals gar nicht Außenminister. But uh, he, he continued to be a very important functionary of the Nazi state, did he not? Ich glaube, dass sein Einfluss in dieser Periode noch kleiner war als vorher. Aber ich habe Kontakt mit ihm gehalten und glaube, dass ich mit seinen Auffassungen und er mit den meinigen übereinstimmte. And yet he continued to serve the Nazi state, uh, in particular in a territory which was acquired as a result of this policy of aggression. Is that not so? Ich wäre dankbar, wenn diese Frage an Herrn von Neurath und nicht an mich gerichtet würde. Now, you were in Italy, in Rome, were you not, in March 1944. Uh, you have given some evidence as to the behavior of uh, the German forces in Italy. Were you in Rome at the time of the massacres in the Ardentine cave? You remember the incident, witness, don't you? Jawohl. When 325 Italians were murdered and 57 Jews were thrown in as a bit of make-weight. 
You were there when that happened, weren't you? Ich glaube, es waren 320 Gefangene, die ermordet wurden in der Höhle, die Sie vorhin genannt haben. Yes. Were you consulted about that matter? Nein. That was an action by German forces, was it not? Ich glaube, von der deutschen Polizei, nicht von den deutschen Streitkräften. And uh, you know, witness, that there were many murders of that kind carried out by the SS during the period of German activity in Italy, do you not? Ich wüsste nicht von vielen Morden, die da passiert sind, aber ich habe der deutschen Polizei auf diesem Gebiet viel zugetraut. You know that they left a record of terror and brutality wherever they left their mark upon Italy. Is that not so? Die deutsche Polizei, ja. I have no further questions. 